time. All right, so we finally finished our puzzle. It looks great. Now what I'm gonna do is just take the measurements and then head out to the garage to cut the wood for underneath our puzzle. So this one looks like it's 18 inches on the dot by 24 inches on the dot. Write that down, or you can just check the box. But I wanted to make sure it wasn't like an eighth of an inch off or something, Jeff. Let's go. Okay, so I'm just using this, it's just a scrap piece of wood that we have in the garage, but it's, it's perfect for this because it's just three quarter inch MDF. So it's thick enough that it's not gonna warp over time. That's the main thing. I mean, when we're building canvases, they tend to like to use birch because you can get it really thin and it holds up without warping. So my first cut, I'm just using this table saw. I'm just gonna set it to 24 inches, lock it in there, safety glasses, and I have to plug it in. Okay, it's gonna be noisy. Perfect. And then 18 inches. All right, there's our board. So let's head inside and we're gonna uh, glue the puzzle to the board as the first step and then prepare it for the resining. Come on in, Jeff. When we did this in the past, we kind of learned some things about resining puzzles. And that is that puzzles are all different qualities. This puzzle, puzzle is fairly cheap. And what can happen with that is, I'll show you an example. Now, Jeff, if you can get nice and close here, as you can see, the resin actually kind of soaked into the edges of each crack and it left a darker black line just because, you know, when you get cardboard wet, it looks darker. So puzzles that are really absorbent, you're going to want to pre-seal them. And that's what we're going to do with this one. And to do that, all that we're going to use is craft glue. This is just Elmer's white school glue. You can pick it up absolutely, absolutely anywhere. Nothing fancy here. Just putting a lot of glue on here. You know what? This is ridiculous. Look at that. We got our white glue on here, and we're just gonna do that. You don't have to be super exact with this because the resin itself is really gonna hold the puzzle down too, so. Good enough. It's good to build your puzzle actually on something. We built it on this piece of plexiglass just so you can move it around and you can make this next step a heck of a lot easier. Okay, so now watch this. I think you'll need two people to help you. You think so? Yes. I'm gonna do this by myself just to show Patty that, you know, if you're at home alone, you know, you have a bunch of cats, you're just sad, you can just do it on your own. Look at this. And just slide this one out, smooth, cool like a cucumber. And bam. This craft glue, you can just kind of push it around the surface. <laughs> Someone help me. Guys, don't laugh. All right, and we're back. So I actually had to get some help because uh, if you're gonna slide it on the top, like just be very, very gentle, but you do have a bit of, of room to play when you put it on there. So I'm just gonna push it all down nice and hard. So now the next step, and we're doing this step to avoid what we talked about earlier about the puzzle lines darkening, is we're gonna just put a coat of Elmer's glue on the top to just seal it. And again, this is just so that the lines don't darken. So we like just using craft glue because it's easy to find, even at the dollar store. It always dries clear and it's cheap. So for today, this is all that we're gonna do because we're gonna let this dry overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow and we're totally ready for the final resin coat. Done. And we'll see you tomorrow.